the Spartans at SefQ Stadium, and we are underway. It's going to be Cottrell at the two-yard line for the Spartans. Across the 20 and cut down at the 22. They will send Nevins in motion, throw to him out of the backfield. Across the 25, hit hard, shy of the stick, knocked down at the 27-yard line. Receivers, you see three to the bottom of the screen as they start from the 33-yard line. Ganji has plenty of time. Over the middle, has a man, catch is made. It's Caleb Fossum, and he's down at the 42. To the sideline, catch made. First down grab by Dayon Henley, and he's out of bounds, and this offense is clicking. Line ...that the defenders jumped up on. The throw was beautifully thrown. We mentioned at the head of the broadcast what an accurate deep ball. Initial drive for the Wolfpack. Moore looks like an end around. It is into the hands of Mannix. He has a blocker. Blocker's in front inside the 15, and he's run out of bounds at the 10-yard line. And goal at the 10-yard line. Ganji trying to skip away from pressure. Down he goes at the 17-yard line. Catch up coverage in the secondary. They latched on to every receiver. Nobody opened. Ganji tried to leave the. Two receivers to the bottom of the screen. Cooks and Dubs. They'll run it right on third and goal, and that's not going to get it done. Nevada trying to get on the board first. Kick on the way from Ahmed, and it's no good. He misses it off to the right. You saw Josh Oliver, he's a factor, but Reed is an edge guy that is very dangerous. Here's a second down and nine. Pass play, caught by Trey Walker, and a first down for the Spartans out to the 32-yard line. Leading tackler, the quarterback of that defense. Third down now and three for San Jose State. Carrillo. Out of the backfield. Catch is made. It's a first down grab by Dejon Parker. Moves the chains with that grab. Carrillo to the near sideline this time. Catch is made by Austin Lyles, and Lyles is close to a first down. Carrillo out of the backfield. It's Packer, and he has a first down. He's inside the 35, takes a big pop. 33. Carrillo, pressure coming, and just had to get rid of the football. He was feeling the heat in a 25 now. Carrillo is... Six of eight through the air. Third down and long. They're going to run the draw play here. It's going to be Roberson, and that's not going to come anywhere near to picking up the first down. Hurry. From the 35-yard line now. Again, Cottrell shuttles in motion. They'll hand it off to Nevins, and he is shut down. Bobby Brown on that last tackle. Second and six now, just shy of the five. Play action this time. Ganji looking over the middle. Catch is made by Mannix. Breaks a tackle first down across the 25. And McLean Mannix to the 30-yard line. The field, Ganji calmly sat back there. He showed pinpoint accuracy as he put the ball right on Mannix once again. Ganji trying to set up the screen. It's intercepted. Picked off. Ethan Aguayo. And he's down inside the two-yard line. The Spartans get a big turnover. Back out of the backfield, who was supposed to get the ball on the screen. He read it perfectly, tracked them down, and made a terrific one-handed catch. And then he ran with the ball as if he was a tailback. Three-year starter out of Mission Viejo, his first. Play action, rolling right. Carrillo to the end zone. Touchdown, Oliver. And the Spartans strike first. job was to take that man man for man he plastered himself to the receiver intercepted it second down and a couple straight ahead they go to Tawa again he puts his head down and has a first down receiver split right Carter Wells is a tight end just off the line of scrimmage they'll run a delay Tawa puts his head down and has a first down to the Spartan side of the field need to establish one phase of that on this drive second and four handoff and that is another first down carry. Going left, they usually go left. They snap it directly to Tawa. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. I don't think he got there. He needed the 26, and the Spartans stacked it up. Direct snap to Tawa. Following his blockers, and he has a first down near the 25-yard line. Running back. Ganji takes the snap. 
plenty of time. Now the pocket collapsing, he fumbles the football. And San Jose State has it at the 37 yard line. Geez, he's a calm operator in the backfield. He's a cool guy, he doesn't get unnerved. San Jose State probably will major in two tight ends during most of the game. Carrillo under duress and down he goes at the 26 yard line and that is Weber. Well it's a play action pass. Weber's the inside linebacker is coming down. Third and 13. LaChapelle rolling right. Gonna tuck it. Hit hard and knocked down at the 38 yard line. Emphasize the significant improvement in technique execution by this Spartan defense. Here's Tawa getting to the outside, turning the corner, and he has a first down. You mentioned downhill running. Second and three, Wolfpack at the 33 yard line, trying to get on the board here. They'll throw it to the sideline. Dumps with the catch and room to roam across the 40. He's to midfield, and he's down to the Spartans' 46 yard line. Pistol look this time, two receivers to each side for Nevada. Play action for Ganji to the sideline and right at the stick. That'll be a good enough for a first down. Aiden Tawa to each side of the quarterback on third and six. Ganji steps away from pressure. Gonna run it, needs the 26. He's not gonna get there, he's run out of bounds. On fourth and three, Ganji setting up. Over the middle, has a first down, pass play complete as they move the chains to Brendan O'Leary Orange and he's down to the 11 yard line. And two stacked receivers to the left, they came off in tandem and then separated against that zone coverage. The receiver did a terrific. Trying to answer the San Jose State score. They'll hand it off to Moore straight ahead. Tough sledding between the tackles. Maybe a yard. And that's it. And there's a little bit of emotion right now. Jamal Scott leading the charge. And Handoff, keeper, Ganji, touchdown. Faked it to Moore, he calls his own number, and we're tied at six. And when everybody's gonna jump on that inside run, that's exactly what they called a real dangerous or second in the Mountain West with 29 sacks this year. Bringing some pressure, rolling left is Carrillo on the throw, and it's intercepted. Sewell pressured him, hit him as he delivered, and it's picked off by Damian Baber. Just because it's the end of the half, don't do something foolish to give the ball back to Nevada after they've just scored. Now they've got it across the 50 yard line. Unofficial timeouts after every made first down. So they've still got three downs to get that free timeout. Ganji has time, fires over the middle of the field and it hangs up there and it is caught somehow. Fossum in motion. Ganji looking for the corner for Mannix, and he can't come up with it. You can see the numbers on third down where they have struggled. Ganji, there's a deep ball going downfield, and it's caught by Dubs in stride inside the 20, and he goes down at the 15. What a catch by the freshman, and it was put right on the money. Okay, he was matched up one-on-one -on, -one on John Toussaint. Toussaint was victimized in recent games on vertical route. Going to play their matchup zone coverage on this play. Ganji, pressure coming, throws off his back foot. It's caught and into the end zone for the touchdown. Hauled in by O'Leary Orange and they get their second TD. O'Leary Orange has really stood out here in the last two minutes of this game. That was a crossing route in which the Spartans initially matched up on it, but then passed them all the way over into an open area. To lead the Mountain West in tackles for, per, uh, per game for loss as Carrillo on third and long is gonna run it up to the 20 yard line, well short of the first down. Tubbs is matched up on Tucson to the wide field once again. Ganji over the middle, incomplete. He missed Mannix, who was breaking across the middle of the field. Goes the guy that ran into the punter. They're gonna go Wildcat here from midfield. It's Tawa. He did not get there. Three-step drop. Ganji. And he overthrows his intended receiver. That was Fossum over there. Toussaint, if he was looking up, up yardage here, but only 14 points as they forced the punt from Conaway. Gets it away from his one. Cottrell calling for the fair catch and makes it at the 48-yard line. 
Third and ten now as we hit the six minute mark here in the third quarter. Pressure coming. Carrillo zips it over the middle and a diving catch is made by Cottrell. Him, pulled it in, cradled it to his body as he went down. A terrific play. Handoff. Packer straight ahead. He has the first down. Long count. Now he takes the snap. Carrillo out of the backfield. Packer the catch inside the 10. Touchdown, Spartans. Packer does a really nice job here of getting his head around and reaching back behind himself to catch the ball. Sometimes that's... Three receivers right. Mannix in motion, fakes it to Mannix. Ganji out of the backfield, incomplete. He wanted Jackson Kincaid, and I don't know if he was ready for the football there. Nevada backs off, they'll rush three. Carrillo, near sideline, incomplete. That continues here. Off of play action, Ganji, Mannix, first down catch to the 40. And he's knocked out at the 46-yard line. Came to the inside. Mannix wheeled outside down the sideline. He was wide open. Ganji saw him on a second look. Freshman All-American a year ago, McLean Mannix. Handoff straight ahead. Tawa puts his head down, has a first down, dragging tacklers to the 43-yard line. That's got to be contagious. But this guy, he's got power in his legs. He's got excellent balance for a big man. He's got power. He's got tenacity. A tight end as well in the slot, Carter Wells, as Ganji looks to throw it near sideline. The defender slips, goes down, and dubs with the catch, and he's inside the 25 with a first down grab. Pressure off the wide side of the field here. Dubs was matched up on Toussaint to the wide field. He pushed him deep as if he was running. Ganji over the middle, zips it between a couple defenders, and the catch is made. And that's a first down grab by Dubs again. Second and seven. They're inside the 10-yard line now. Ganji hands it off. Tawa straight up the gut. Touchdown, Nevada. And that's exactly the way he ran that. Straight ahead, one cut and up the field. But he also got a lot of help on that play by the goal line specialist, Els, who lined up on the left. Came to the right, led him through the hole with a strong block on the linebacker, Scott, inside. That cleared the way for him. It's, uh, I hear what you're saying. First down from the 22-yard line. Here's Carrillo over the middle. Spots his tight end, Oliver, and that's a first down grab up to the 42-yard line. There is one of the top Oliver. tight ends in the country. The outside receiver and Oliver, the tight end, involved. Oliver went straight down the field, and on the play action fake, Carrillo fired. Oliver is split out as the tight end, top of the screen here on third and eight. Carrillo out of the backfield, catch is made by Roberson across midfield, hit hard, ball comes free but rolls out of bounds, and let's see where they mark this thing. To keep the drive going. Cottrell in motion, handoff, Packer hit in the backfield and driven backwards. That was Dom Peterson, the red shirt freshman, and Nevada takes over on down. It's gonna play soft coverage against him. Ganji, pressure coming. Over the middle, incomplete. Carrillo dumps it off, and that's good enough for a first down as he goes to Malik Roberson out of the backfield. Second and nine from the 23-yard line. Carrillo looking Oliver's way. Now he'll roll right and throw to that side of the field. Downfield, and it's caught. Trey Walker making a big catch, the sophomore from Inglewood. Heavy pressure, he rolled out to his right to get away from it, threw it out there to Walker. It's only the first time since early in the first quarter we've seen. Nevada's gonna rush three. Carrillo looking, running away from pressure. Now he'll take off with it, and down he goes near midfield. So now they've got a fourth and nine coming up. At the 50-yard line, Gabe Sewell in there on the tackle. Continues to build under Coach Norville. Here he is running left, and Tawa tripped up and close to the first down. That's why he's the head coach. That's what the head coach is supposed to do. 
Second and four as we near the four minute mark. Ganji now on play action is going to throw it and the catch is made by Dubs and that's a first down. A proud tradition in Nevada. They've gone to 15 bowls in their history, 10 in the last 13 years. Here's Tawa tripped up. He might have busted that the distance as he goes down. Ganji will hand it off to Moore. Straight ahead into the pile and fourth down coming up as we're under a minute to go. Coach Norvell on his season. Well, even a bigger picture. Trays, if they can finish. Walker across the 35, that's going to do it. And it's a final here from San Jose.